NATO says there are still significant differences between its allies and Russia over Ukraine. The Security Alliance has been holding talks with Russia in Brussels today amid growing concern over the increasing numbers of troops along Ukraine's eastern border. The U.S. is concerned Russia is preparing to invade. NATO Secretary General says the alliance had a very serious and direct exchange about the situation in Ukraine and its implications on European security. NATO allies are clear-eyed about the prospects for progress in these talks. They expressed serious concern about the Russian military buildup in and around Ukraine and called on Russia to immediately de-escalate the situation and to respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of its neighbours. For more on this, let's head over to Brussels to speak to Shona Murray. Shona, so both sides are still very apart in terms of reaching common ground over the Ukraine crisis. What are the core issues? Well, this is described as a single item agenda at NATO, and you can understand why, given the very consequential nature of what was being discussed between Russia and NATO members. Um, and essentially, it, that was the threat of an invasion by Russia of Ukraine. On a broader perspective, there was a discussion about the uh, European security apparatus and the demands from Russia, uh, namely that it closed the door on its open membership policy, uh, essentially closed the door on membership of NATO uh, for Ukraine and other ex-Soviet countries. And those demands from Russia have been described as a non-starter widely by NATO, by the US, by Jens Stoltenberg, the head of NATO. Um, so that's essentially what was really on discussion, although the NATO did say that they would like to discuss areas of cooperation with Putin if this diplomatic efforts do come to pass and Russia decides not to invade Ukraine. What was, in, what was interesting is that uh, when you speak to NATO sources and when we spoke to uh, people like Under Secretary Mindy Shermer for the US or Jens Stoltenberg, nobody really seems any the wiser as to what, whether Vladimir Putin has made up his mind as to whether he will or had any intention to invade Ukraine. And as you mentioned there, we heard from Jens Stoltenberg, the head of NATO, uh, that no significant progress has been made yet. The US uh, Deputy Secretary of State has spoken to Euronews and she appears to have put the ball into Russia's court. So when, when it comes to dialing back tensions with Ukraine, what else did she tell you? Yes, yeah, so we, the expectations for today and this week were essentially low in that there wasn't any hope that Vladimir Putin would suddenly de-escalate and remove the 100,000 troops from the Ukrainian border, but that there would be a discussion around diplomacy and that Putin may eventually decide uh, to take that path. Uh, well, we heard from uh, US uh, Undersecretary Wendy Sherman, who spoke to our colleague Maeve McMahon, was that she's sort of dismissing uh, the, the Russian proposition, which is that it tr is somehow threatened by Ukraine, Russia being a Security Council member, having vast energy resources, having vast ge geographical landmass. Um, and she also made the point that, you know, diplomacy, if it, uh, if it turns out that Vladimir Putin does decide uh, Ukraine uh, to invade Ukraine, diplomacy won't be at fault. It'll be Vladimir Putin's decision to take this action. Anything is possible in the world. But I will say this, it won't be about diplomacy failing. It will about, be about President Putin having made a choice that actually I think will bring great, great sorrow to his countrymen and women because there will be great economic costs uh, to Russia if they take this action. Uh, I think he knows that. There's enormous solidarity he will have heard this week, so he will know that we will be unified in imposing costs. If he makes the wrong choice, I hope he makes the right one. U.S. Under Secretary Wendy Sherman, um, they're speaking to our colleague Maeve Mahan, making the point that there will be grave economic consequences on Russia if Vladimir Putin is to take that uh, decision to invade Ukraine.